Hey guys, what's up? My name is Jory. You want to know what the great place you're standing in right now is? It's called the Creative Arts Corner. Let's show you around. The Creative Arts Corner is the multimedia production and training program of the Housing Authority of the City of Pittsburgh. Originating in 2006, the program serves as both a positive after-school activity and a hands-on training program for individuals with an interest in careers in the multimedia and entertainment fields. Students are given the opportunity to learn about a variety of professional audio and video equipment, completely cost-free. The program is open to all residents of the Housing Authority over the age of 12 and serves an average of 30 to 40 students per week. Let me tell you, this place has everything you need from keyboards to microphones and beat machines too. And we also got programs that we use to record stuff like Pro Tools. And we got video cameras too. And green screens. And we also got HD TVs. And we have lights. Yes, a lot of lights. <laughs> Classes are taught at two locations, the Creative Arts Corner at the Bedford Hope Center in the Hill District and the Creative Arts Corner at Northview Heights. At the time of its opening, Northview Heights was the first audio and video studio operated by a public housing authority in the United States. It's a program that would actually help keeping our young people off the streets, give them something that they like to do. They, most people, most of the young people today love music. So I think this program couldn't have come at a better time. The in front of the camera career is one thing, but the behind the scenes uh, activity from uh, the business aspect, from producing, from directing, from running the equipment, even pulling cable, uh, is something that's career building. The CAC has partnered with many organizations over the years, including Family Resources, the Carnegie Museum of Art, the Pittsburgh Pirates, the New Pittsburgh Courier, WTAE-TV, the Grable Foundation, Duquesne University, and Macaulay Ministries. The projects created at the CAC have been shown at both the August Wilson Center and Pittsburgh Filmmakers, as well as being broadcast on WPXI, PCTV, and WQED. In 2013, the CAC produced a feature-length documentary on the history of Shenley High School, which received much attention and was awarded a proclamation from the Allegheny County Council. The CAC has also had the opportunity to bring in guest speakers such as Fantasia Barrio, Charles S. Dutton, and DJ Bonix. This experience that you're having in here right now, whatever age you're at, like, there's like aspiring rappers and people who are really definitely talented who don't have access to this stuff. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you're really blessed to have this. CAC student Darnell Ingram, now working at WPXI-TV, discusses how the program helped him learn the skills he needed to succeed. I, right now I work at WPXI, and it's uh, what I do is video editing. Creative Art Corner actually helped, uh, actually took me to, actually exposed me to that, that field with a trip to, uh, I think with WTAE. And I feel a Creative Art Corner provides a stepping stone for anybody, you know, young or old, that wants to get involved in that field to jumpstart their, like, future career in the entertainment field. CAC student Adrian Brown discusses an anti-violence PSA she created, which was featured on WPXI. I, I, I feel like that I'm able to speak to the public in a positive way through video. It, it, people listen. Um, everyone's helpful. Everyone is a master of their craft. So they're, you know, willing to pass those on and give us crafts that we can actually take into the community and turn it into a financial standing so that we can take care of our families. So come on down to the Creative Arts Corner. Your first one's free. Matter of fact, the whole time you're here is free. So come on down. <laughs>